hey guys it's shahzeb afridi from game logics and this is our part first for uh, our ludo game so i have created an uh, empty project for our uh, uh, ludo game so let's create some uh, folders uh, because as you know i like my things to be uh, organized properly so let uh, let's create a folder uh, i am gonna need in this tutorial a folder for sounds because i am gonna use sounds in this tutorial in this part first tutorial of our ludo game and another folder is going to be for scripts okay and the other one is going to be for our scenes so let me first save the scene and the scene name is this is our main scene okay so for the moment we are done and uh, now the first thing that i am going to do is create an empty uh, game object and this game object is gonna hold our sound uh, manager okay so this is our sound manager and uh, I'm gonna need some sounds for our games and they are these so let me do my thing where is, where is, where is. so we've got our sounds let unity do its thing it's gonna import the sounds for us should wait for a while so our sounds we've got our sounds so now let me create a script for our sound manager and we can also create uh, a singleton that uh, I have I have created a singleton in one of my videos uh, uh, in our color switch uh, game part first video so I think that uh, for now we are good with not having a singleton okay so you guys should uh, like you will learn how to create how to do uh, one thing in uh, multiple ways okay so let's stick with this for the moment so let me create the sound manager uh, sound manager let's write some code for our sound manager and let me zoom in a little bit so you can see clearly and let's change the format to my visual studio style yes and for our sound manager we don't need this update method and all we need is public variables for our public fields or you can say variables for our audio clips so audio clip as you can see a container for audio data it is basically used for playing uh, sounds in our games okay so audio clip and it is going to be our button our button audio clip like whenever uh, uh, i click a button like two uh, if you want to play two player game or three player game game so it will uh, it will have a, a special kind of sound okay so it will play a sound for us and uh, i'm gonna need some audio clips like this one is going to be for dismissal like if one player is bopped up by another player so a specific sound will be played for us and another audio clip is going to be for our dice roll like when uh, whenever i click uh, like uh, whenever we click on our dice roll button 
so it will play a special sound for us uh, yeah and the other and I'm going and I am making them public because we uh, we can't make them uh, private okay so we need them uh, in the inspector so that's why I'm uh, making them public and another audio clip for our uh, uh when like when a player uh, whenever uh one of two players or three players wins the game so a specific sound will be played okay so audio audio clip for our player and another is going to be like whenever a player reaches a safe house safe house safe house uh, audio audio clip and the other is going to be for our player okay and I will walk you through the different sounds how they sound when we uh, click on them this is going to be our player our player audio clip so I've created all the required uh, I've created the fields or variables for all the for all the required audio clips and now we need is some static uh, fields for our audio source and they are going to be the the same as our like their names are going to be the same as our audio clips so like audio source and for an audio clip we must need an audio source like from where uh, uh, the audio clip is going to be played okay so we need an audio source so this is our and i am uh, uh, making them static because uh, we want to be exact one copy of uh, these uh, objects or fields or variables whatever you want them to call whatever you want to call them okay so we want them to be exact one copy for every sound manager object okay so that's why i am making them static and another is going to be audio source for our dismissal dismissal audio source and let's uh, save ourselves some let's let me save ourselves some time so let me copy this and paste it and uh, this should be dice audio Oh, I've missed the P. Oh, no. It is going to be our win audio. So let me copy this one we already got audio and one is going to be for the player. I hope that you guys are understanding me. So, 
we've got our audio sources as well and now we need a method which will return uh, audio source and the name is going to be add audio and it will receive four parameters what is one is uh, the first one is going to be audio clip and we will call this a clip and the other is going to be bool play on awake and the other one is going to be loop we'll, we will use for looping like if we want the sound to be played repeatedly and play on awake is uh, can be used like for whenever like uh, if we start the game so all these sounds will be played automatically like we we don't need them to trigger we don't need to trigger them okay so and we will pass uh, the, uh, the play on awake we will pass uh, the parameter uh, to the play on awake uh, false okay because we don't want them uh, to be played uh, when we play the game okay because these are some special kind of sound like whenever i click on the dice button then i want the sound to be played whenever a player uh, reaches a safe house then i want that particular sound to be played okay so we will pass them is and uh, and we don't want them to be looping okay as well i will pass that parameter false as well okay and the fourth one is going to be uh, volume so we've got our uh, method correctly and now we need uh, a audio an audio source object and it's going to be audio audio source and we will um add uh, we will add so it's a property every object uh, you can say in unity is a game object okay so we will add a component to this audio source which is going to be of type audio which is going to be of type audio audio source okay so this method this add component what it will do it will simply grab the audio source component and it will add to this audio source object that audio source component will be added to this audio source object and now what we need is audio source it's a property of audio clip like the default clip like whatever clip you want to play so we will pass that clip here and it's going to be our clip that we will pass in the uh, method parameter list okay and the other thing is audio source dot play on awake so as you can see if it is set to true the audio source will play automatically whenever the game is start okay so it's a kind of method it's a kind of uh, property which uh, is linked with one of our uh, methods of a uh, life cycle of unity which is uh, like this is one of the uh, methods of life cycle of unity methods start update and awake okay so awake is the is the only method that is called even before uh, like before start okay so it's the first method so it's linked with that awake method this property 
and this is going to be our parameterized play on awake and the other my English is not very good so try to understand me okay and loop is the audio clip looping okay so I've already discussed these things this is going to be our loop and volume is going to be the volume that we pass and the parameters list and we simply want to return our audio source and we are done for uh, this method okay and uh, I think that this is it for this video it uh, we will need some coding in the start method but I think the length is uh, I don't want my videos to be more than like 15 minutes so it's already reached to 16 uh, minutes okay so thanks uh, guys for watching and if you really like my videos so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, stay blessed see you in the next video and if you have any kind of confusions problems so let me know and feel free so feel free for comments okay so thanks again see you in the next tutorial